every video I create, I believe in helping you create new technology that can be innovative and creative. The way I create my videos is by making a wide variety of basic IT videos that are easy to understand and will create a base for your future IT creations. My tutorials are about IoT devices, design, databases, websites, apps, and so much more. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hossa. In today's video we will play around with a servo motor. We will see how to change the position and the turning speed of one. The schematic. This week's schematic consists of just one circuit and it's a simple one. The servo motor itself and you can just connect all the pins straight into the Arduino. In my case the brown wire, wire stands for the minus, so this one has to go to the ground. The red one stands for plus, so meaning voltage, and this one has to go into the 5 volts. And lastly, the orange wire has to go into any digital pin you prefer. I'm going for the pin number 9, declaring. So you might think we can immediately start with the declaring like usual, but not this time. Before we want anything of this to work, we have to import or include a library for the servo motor itself. So let's do that right now. When you import the library, you can immediately create a servo object to control the servo. So let's do that right now, like so. Now let's create a variable to store in our servo position. And let's set this, to one, let's set this one to zero. On to our setup. We only have to set up one thing this time, and that is to attach our servo mo motor, so our servo object, to our pin number. Now I'm going to create two kind of two kind of loops, one where we can control the speed of our servo motor, changing its position. This one is a bit longer, but can create some interesting ideas to create something cool with it. And the second one, second one is short and fast but with that one you can't control the speed. Let's start with the one where, you, where we can control the speed. The idea is pretty easy. We simply create a for loop that goes through each 180 positions. That's right, the servo motor only has 180 positions or degrees. So the for loop has to go through each position and every time it changes position, we add a delay of a certain time to create the illusion that the servo motor is moving in different speeds, but in reality it is just waiting for its next cue. So let's start with writing the for loop first. Now every time our position goes up a notch, we have to write of course the current position to our servo to tell it to do that. We do this by writing and now we add our delay to, to recreate the speed. Now that this is done, we want to do this again, but this time starting from 180 and going back to 0. Ok, now let's try and run this. You can see the servo motor going from point A to B. Now let's try and change the speed of our servo motor. Let's change the delay to 50 and again here also to 50. Let's try and upload this. Uploading. And as you can see, the servo motor is going much slower than before. Now, what if you just want the servo motor to go really fast to one position and the other? without going through all of this coding, so like without going to through each position in this for loop. Well, unlike the stepper motor, this library lets you give a value and go to that position without having to code in it going through each position. You do this like so. Now, let's try and run this. And as you can see, that's quite faster. And as well, you don't have to code as much either. So, what to do now? 
go to Amazon and buy yourself a servo motor, a button, some resistors, wires, and waste a lot of money, or buy the original Arduino Uno starter kit, or the cheaper version. Link will be in the description. There should be an affiliate link and a normal link. The affiliate link meaning I will get a small percentage of the price that you're paying for referring you to the product. This does not mean the price is higher for you, so don't worry. But if you want to support me, definitely go and use that link to buy the Arduino Uno and or starter kit. As well, there will be a link to my Patreon page contain containing all of my files that I used in today's video, such as the fritzing scheme, the Arduino code, and some extra comments that only people on my Patreon page will be able to see. The link for that down below or on screen. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world!